Today on Papa's Projects, we are talking about running our pool pump and our pool heaters off of solar. Right over here, we are using a jacuzzi variable speed pool pump where sure if you'd see that or not but that is at 2000 rpms and we go up to 28 go down to 18 and we can change this and go all the way down let's see how far we can go down we can go down to 600 rpms although i never go that low it's like 1200 <clears throat> is the lowest that I will go. Put that back up. 1700 RPMs. It's very nice that you can. So we'll put that on the medium speed or the middle. <clears throat> we'll put that at 2200 RPMs. So. You can find one of these. I bought this at Leslie's when they had. Um, I bought this at Leslie's when they had a free installation sale, so it was right around nine hundred dollars with tax and everything installed. And we run this off of solar completely. We never run this off the grid, and that keeps our pool nice and clear all year long. I just added soda ash earlier, so my pool is cloudy because of that I gotta keep that pH up in order to get rid of that mustard algae with a pool temperature of 88 to 89 degrees right now we're running this pool heater which is a fibro pools fibro pools FH 120 uh, we got this around $1,100 this was a reconditioned model and I believe it was like 1100 tax and delivery all included. So this thing will maintain that temperature. And this is a pool heater and a pool cooler. So in August, when the pool temperature goes up to 100 degrees, it, without using a pool cover or anything, because it's 115 during the day, I can actually chill this thing down from 100 down to 85 degrees and keep it there. So, and I only run this during the day off the of solar. I never run this off of the grid. Uh, this thing over here is a um, 240 volt, 12 and a half ton pool heater heat pump. And this is run on the grid. I don't have the ability right now. I need to run some six gauge wire over here. That's what's going to it from my grid power. So in order to go to my solar, I'm gonna have to run at least six gauge to get that. Cause that's on two 50 amp breakers uh, in my grid electrical panel. This three and a half ton is 230 amp breakers tied together. And that four ton is also 30, 230 amps together in that um, fuse panel on the house. So I'm gonna need a little thicker gauge wire on this. <laughs> to get this thing to run. Right now we are running this three and a half ton whole house upstairs air conditioner. And some people use this for their whole house, but we use it just for upstairs, three and a half ton. That is being run completely on solar um, right now during the day from 7.15, 7.30 in the morning till 5.30, 6 o'clock at night. That is completely being run off of solar. And then we don't even use it at night because the house is so cooled down. It's set at 76, but it never kicks on. This is a four ton heat pump AC for downstairs. It's once again, that's set at 76 degrees, never kicks on. So, but it is pool season. And just wanna let you know, you can go to their website, fibropools.com. Um, if you have a pool like mine, that's like 12 to 14,000 gallons, it's somewhere in there, I can't remember. Uh, you would probably need to go with the 230, 240 volt there. Um, I can't remember what it is. It's like um, 
FH520 or so, I don't know. But it's like um, 55,000 BTUs and it's like two, 208 or 230 volts. Um, I would need that to actually heat my pool or cool my pool. And they sell those where they just heat or they heat and cool. So you gotta see what you're getting. Um, like I said, I bought a reconditioned one and I've had this running for almost two years now. I had no problems with it. It starts up all the time. And so if you were to try and run that, you could run that off a of solar, a 230 volt, um, 55,000 BTU. Mine's 125,000 BTUs for that big monster hooked up to the grid. Eventually I'll get that on solar, but I need to do some more wiring before I can get that <laughs> on there. But that would definitely heat my pool up um, running off of solar. It wouldn't cost me a penny. I know some people that are in propane out here, and they'll run them five, seven hundred dollars to heat their pool up. And it'll run three to five hundred to keep it heated. So as we're like I said with mine, I ran the pool heater, the grid one. That was 240 volts. Uh, that took me probably seven or eight hours. It was about seven bucks to raise it from 70 degrees to 90 degrees. So that wasn't too bad, a one-time cost just to get that up and do that. Now, when I was running that thing before, I was running that year round, and that was uh, right around 150, 200 bucks a month to run that. And it was a little bit more expensive in the summertime because they double your rates from your winter time. From November to April, your rates are like eight cents kilowatt hour out here. And then they go um, by August and September or July and August, they're like 16 cents a kilowatt hour out here. So they basically double your rates. You're using the same electricity. They just double the rates. So your bill doubles. So, because that's when all the demand is, when it's 115 degrees out. Anyways, if you're looking to heat your pool and reduce your cost on running your pool pump, so you can keep it clean and keep all that algae and leaves and everything out, you might want to think about putting one of those variable speed pool pumps on. And get those things anywhere. Any... Uh, any pool supply place will sell it. You can get them online, get them on Amazon, eBay, pool park places. And that pool pump, uh, that big one I bought at Leslie Pools along with this um, pool pump and a pool filter. Um, but that was fibropools.com that I went to and actually bought that. And I think it took... When I bought it two years ago, it, it took like four or five days to be delivered once I ordered it. So, anyways, like I said, we're running our pool pump, our pool heater, and we are running this three and a half ton upstairs air conditioner, this one ton downstairs air conditioner, and that is completely all off of solar. Everything that we're pretty much running during the day for air conditioning or pool is on solar and not costing us a penny. So I hope this helps you. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I hope you have a truly wonderful and very blessed day. We'll see you soon.